Hello internet, welcome to my reaction to Poster Child by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is just out, I was freaking out, my VPN wasn't working, but the Red Hot Chili Peppers subreddit got my back. There is a link to the full song in the description. If you want to dip and check that out, uh, please make sure to hit like before you do. Let's get into it, I'm rocking the stash, uh, Anthony support, I have an mp3 there, let's go. All right, so far, pretty uh, laid back, chill vibes that we have going on there. The harmony is weird, it is dissonant, it is chords that Flea and, and John Frusciante have used uh, ever since they really started working together, and more even on Blood Sugar Sex Magic. That is kind of reminiscent of that era to me, which I really enjoy. The drum sounds are really clean, they're not, there is not a lot of moving around and nuance to this drum sound. Uh, it, it is very processed, it feels like, it is very clean. The quiet backing vocals are coming in and we have a almost a seamless chorus, it seems, if that was the chorus indeed. Pretty laid back. That's my John, man. All right, so quiet backing vocals keep happening uh, all throughout the, the choruses of the song. And that was indeed the chorus. There's not a, a big uh, dynamic change between the chorus and, and the verses. There's some really cool processed guitars that are going on in the background that are reminding me of, of this one, of Billie Eilish. Her uh, first uh, full-length album is full of those little processed chopped things and it's, uh, it's vocals in the, in the case of Billie. Uh. But in the case of John, it's his guitars that he runs through synthesizers and pedals and literally six meters of, of pedals uh, in the stadium Arcadium era. Anthony is mixed quite loud, so that doesn't quite give all the space I would like to have for the guitar and bass. Then there's also not a lot of moving around in that song. It's, it's very much a, a simple straight beat for five minutes and uh, 20 seconds almost. So I'm not too much of a fan of that. There's some keyboard at the end that is quite interesting, but I'm liking the human touch. I'm liking the other elements uh, in Blood Sugar Sex Magic that aren't the harmonic things that we've mentioned. I think they're playing to a click and I don't quite like that. At the end, uh, it feels like they don't really know what to to play. Or maybe they do and I'm, I'm mistaken, but there's a lot of dead space, or it's just maybe space, but there's, um, yeah, it almost feels a little confused to me, so we can maybe link that back to Black Summer. So I'm a, I'm a big Red Chili Peppers fan, all right? I've said that a lot. I have the stash, and I have, I have the videos to prove it on the channel. Um, but there is a, an edge to a song that has, like, almost all major chords, I guess, and this is kind of what we are presented with here. It's uh, it's a lot of funky stuff and, and it's almost like you have to have uh, a predisposition to it almost and that was the case for Black Summer as well. It's almost like taking in all the major minor stuff is a bit is a bit overwhelming and that's kind of I, I kind of have the same problem with the harmony of that song. At the end of the day, it's just funk. It's laid back. It's uh maybe not meant to be not that way, maybe that edge is what they're looking for. But drawing parallels to Stadium Arcadium again, which a lot of people are going to be doing because that was the last album with John and even the band themselves. And I think Rick Rubin actually said that the new album would sound a lot like Stadium Arcadium. There's not a lot of that on Stadium Arcadium. There's not a lot of just five minutes of funk jams that don't necessarily go anywhere. Um, I feel about this somewhat the same way I feel about Black Summer and the guitar solo is like it starts but then it doesn't really and it's it's driven and then it's clean again and is where where is it going starts late into the song I don't know 
So to sum it up, Poster Child. It's not my favorite track, but I've only listened to it once. With Black Summer, what happened is I initially criticized the song, especially the, the solo, for example. I thought it wasn't going anywhere like the solo of this song. But then it's been stuck in my head on, you know, for days on end. So things are maybe going to change. I will let you know what I think about the, the album, definitely. I'm really looking forward to that because we can't really have the context until we have the proper full 17 song album on April 1st. And I also haven't paid attention to what Anthony was doing much. I'm sure there's some cool stuff in the lyrics that I can read up and maybe appreciate the song a little more for that. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.